Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Deathbot from 32 Academy. Okay, let's read the question together. So the question asks you to find the number of three digit integers which are multiples of three and are formed by digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 without repetition. So the integer are three digit, okay, and this three digit is a multiples of three. And how you form this numbers or how you form this integers is you can only use digits 0 1 2 3 all the way until 7 without repetition so the question asks how many such integers are there okay so let's try to do this combinatoric question together okay so first things first let the number be a b c okay this is the decimal representation if you want the integer to be a multiple of so 3, that means that the sum of the digits is a multiple of so 3. So a plus b plus c is a multiple of so 3. So a plus b plus c is a multiple of so 3. A multiple of 3. So Okay, first thing first, this number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If I divide it by 3, the possible remainder is 0, 1, 2. The remainder 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, respectively. Okay, so if you want a plus b plus c to be a multiple of 3, case 1 would be a, b, c. All of them has the same remainder. So what I mean by this is let's say A has remainder 0, B also has remainder 0, and C has remainder 0. Add up together is a multiple of 3. Or A has remainder 1, B has remainder 1, and C has remainder 1. Add up together is divisible by 3. A is remainder 2, B remainder 2, and C remainder 2. Add up together also still divisible by 3. So how many such cases are there? To get a remainder 0, you can only have 0, 3, and 6. Okay, these are the remainder 0. Remainder 1 is the 1, 4, and 7. Notice you cannot have A, B, C, or remainder 2 because you only have number 2, 5, and... Uh, well, you do not have an 8. Okay, so... Let's try this together. So, for the case of 0, 3, 6, all right, how many cases do you have? You cannot start with a 0, right? Because it's a 3 digit number, you cannot start with 0. So, you can start with either 3 or 6, so that's 2 choices. After that, you still have 2 choices. You do not repeat, but now you can use 0. And of course, the last digit is 1 choice, so it's a 4. For this case, well, no restriction, it's just 3 times 2 times 1, so it's a 6, total is a 10 for case 1. For case 2, it is when A, B, C have different remainder. Okay, so what I mean by this is, let's say A remainder 0, B remainder 1, C remainder 2, add up together, still divisible by 3. So it can be 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 0, and then 2, 0, 1, okay? So I would break into the mini cases here because now there is a restriction of you cannot start with a 0. So if you do not, if the number does not include 0, okay, if it doesn't include 0. So how many choices would we have? I would say uh, we would have two because you do not start at zero, right? So the the remainder zero can only be three and six. The remainder one can be three choices because you can have one, four, seven, and the remainder two. You also have two choices is two and five. Okay, but because you can rearrange this, right? 
let's say 3, 1, 2. I can also put it 1, 2, 3. Correct. And so you can have another multiplied by 3 factorial. Okay, you can rearrange this. Then that would give you a 72 cases. For the case of if you include 0, if you include 0, how many cases are there? If you include 0, the first I would say is 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. So this 3 is basically the 3 digit. Okay. Sorry, it's the remainder 1. And that means that the 1, 4, 7, this is the remainder 2. Okay, so that is the 2 and 5. This is the remainder 0, and I use 0. Correct. Right. So that would be a. This is because I can switch between B and C. Okay. So this is the switching between B and C and I use a zero, okay? And then this two, I can write as two factorial. This is to switch between the digit not zero, the non-zero digit and the starting A. So A and the non-zero digit, okay? Non-zero digit between B and C. Okay, so because I need to use the digit 0 anyway, because we say here is include 0. So that means I, well, technically I can just multiply by 1. Same thing, okay. So let me repeat. This is the remainder 1, okay. This is the remainder 2. The remainder 0, oh, you only have one choice because you need to use digit 1, digit 0. This is to switch, like 2 factorial, okay, is to different arrangement and this is where the digit 0 can be the 2 okay it just need to avoid starting at a it can be at b or c so here you multiply together you will get uh, 24 right and then you start add together initially you have 10 72 that's 82 82 mod, uh, plus 24 all together you get so hands in total Ten, seventy-two, twenty-four. Together, you get one hundred and six. So the answer is one hundred and six. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye, and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.